I will remember that. Stand for the pledge, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Jennifer, roll call, please. Mr. Henderson? Here. Mr. Duco? Here. Mr. Zadie? Here. Mr. Hendricks? Yes. Mr. Rowley? Here. Can I have a motion for the approval of the minutes of September 24th, 2015? Motion. Second. Any discussion on the minutes of September 24th? Jennifer Roll? Mr. Hendricks? Yes. Mr. Duco? Yes. Mr. Henderson? Yes. Ms. Manzani? Yes. Mr. Rowley? Yes. We'll move into the treasurer's report with Jennifer. Okay. In the treasurer's report, we have bills, accounts payable, as well as the financial reports, which contain the board reports. Uh, we have a nice list of donations for the month. I will read uh, 500 from Mr. Van Scoy for the middle high school principals fund, as well as a $300 anonymous donation for the same fund. Um, the following are all class of 55 scholarship donations. $1,000 from Twyla and Alan France, $120 from Richard and Adrian Frederick Jr., $10 from William and Shirley Johns, $25 from Mina and Alan Metz, $50 from Richard and Janice McKenzie, $200 from Tony Less, $20 from Daryl and Carol Kirtley, $821 for Shirley, from Shirley Clark and Ray Davis, $583 from Charles and Beverly Morrow, $500 from Donna Morris, $25 from Mary Morgan, $40 from Mary and James Tucker, $120 from C. Richard and Patricia Smith, $500 from Paul and Don Rance, $50 from Dorothy and Vincent Bevenick, $100 from Nancy Willard and Jennifer Catalan, $30 from Patricia Bede, $50 from William Beaven, and $92 from Beverly Morrow. One other donation was $1,000 from the Northeast Ohio Athletic District Board. In D financial items, we have the supplemental budgets attached to be approved, as well as the October 2015 five-year forecast and assumptions and an increase in pay for Lori Kane and Marilyn Heddleston as certified Title I uh, instructor aides back retroactive to the beginning of the school year. Excellent. Lisa, do we have anyone sign up for public participation? Yes. Right. Oh, motion. Oh, mo I'm sorry, motion to accept the treasurer's report. Motion. Second? Second. Roll call? Discussion. Discussion. On the... On the Art Club, just just let me ask your opinion, Rob. Mm -hmm. There's a class trip on there. Yeah. Should should are we putting the cart before the horse? Should the trip be approved and then the fundraising happen, or how how does that work? Yeah, usually the trips are uh, recognition to organize the trip. And then did, did, uh, maybe we did that. I don't even remember. I don't remember either. That. Yeah. And then, and then from there, uh, they could put it on. They could submit the fund after the yes. fundraiser. Right, but you're you're correct. <coughs> the, I mean, yeah. So I'll check that because I don't I, I don't think they, there's a destination yet, so I don't think that. I mean, it's not a big deal. It's just right. When was it first brought up? Oh, this is it. This is the first yeah, time it's been brought up. I know up. it's been discussed amongst the uh, uh, administration and, and our club advisor about. The actual trip. Was it like a Cleveland Museum trip or something? No, it's an overnight trip. Overnight? Yeah. And the, the other thing I wanted to mention, Rob, was the class of 2019. It's really nice that they're getting the jump on the prom. Yes. Right, I'm assuming that's why they're doing that. Yes. <clears throat> it's just, I know, I know it's a teacher and it's a parent. It's, it's nice that they do that. We just have to remember that supplemental is probably a cheap supplemental because we never expected that person to do all that work. Right. So they're really going out over and above the call of duty, which is which is nice. I agree. Yes. What's the? How far out is somebody allowed to start raising funds for a prom? Good question. 
We've only had freshman class up so far. But this one you have 2019 already working on. Mm -hmm. And that is the class of the That's freshman right. class. Okay. Right. I, I don't think there's a state guideline, is there? We don't have any guidelines. Mm -hmm. We just have only had freshman, sophomore, junior, and senior classes that so raise money. The state has no suggestion for guidelines? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So theoretically, you could extend it further if you wanted, if somebody approached you? Or is it something we should look at? We should probably have guidelines. Yeah, we should look at that. Mm -hmm. Michael or Tony? Not at all. moving to the roll call. Mr. Henderson? Yes. Mr. Hendricks? Yes. Mr. Duco? Yes. Mr. Mabai? Yes. Mr. Rowley? Yes. How are we looking, Lisa? I have two things for you, Michael. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Sure, there you go. Sabina. Real quick, I don't want to take much of your time. Um, you guys know, obviously, our chief uh, resigned not too long yes. ago. We were looking to uh, partner with you guys on the village. The general consensus of uh, yesterday's meeting was to partner with you guys to help get uh, funding and go after grants to uh, secure a resource officer. So we are extending our hands to you guys to help out with that. So Great. if you guys would like to, please uh, contact uh, Randy. He's our grant writer and uh, student candidate. So we're looking forward to doing that with you guys. Has uh, Randy have any ideas uh, of how, how we should approach it? I mean, does he want to come and work with us, like on a subcommittee or something? That would be uh, that would probably be the best bet. Now we know that the funding is this year is pretty much out of the boat, um, but next year we could uh, we can go for it uh, for next year. But we've got to start on today. Excellent. All right. All right. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Kevin. And I'll make a note to call him. Well, Randy starts. He's got eight or nine. Someone yeah, knows. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Depends if he has enough coffee, huh? I love Randy. All right. Uh, then we're going to move to Fred Duke. I coach the U12 and U14 soccer team for LASA this year, and we use the field at the corner of the school. And on behalf of the U12 and U14 soccer teams, we wanted to Thank you. present you guys Thank you, Fred. with a yeah. picture of the teams that you can put wherever you'd like. Oh, yeah, I'll put that in the trophy case. Thank, Thank you. Thanks, well, their names Very are nice. on the back. Oh, yeah. The names. Oh, oh they signed them themselves. That is awesome. <laughs> yeah. That's nice. great. Thank you. Well, I was hoping to get a few more of the athletes to follow me here. I only mention <laughs> Thank you for coming. <laughs> I, I think it's incredible, you know, 10 years ago we didn't even have soccer in this town. To see that kind of enthusiasm is amazing. So keep it up. I know there's a lot of extra work for you guys. I appreciate that. That's awesome. Is, um, is maybe someone in the room that didn't sign up that wanted... There he saw it. Uh, anyone in the room that didn't sign up that maybe wants to speak for a minute? We're good? Okay. Yeah, and then uh, we're going to move into old business. No business. Old business? Okay, we're okay on old business. And then, uh, is that Richard or Larry? It's me. Richard with student report. Uh, elementary school had uh, 22 students that made student of the month for September. We have a whole list of winners for the bus safety poster contest. Uh, each of them gets a letter or a certificate. Yes. Sir. Um, we'll read them real quick. Mrs. McKay's class, first place was Dessa Huston, Houston. Houston. Runner up was David Mathis. Grade one, Mrs. Temple, first place was Marissa Hostetter. Runner up was Bella Ribnack. Mrs. Hames. First place was Madison Dorsey. Runner-up was Charlie Jennings. Grade two, Mrs. D.K. First place was Chelsea King. Runner-up was Peyton Gray. Mrs. Walters class. First place was Mason Arnado. Runner-up was Gabriella McFarland. Grade three, Mr. Work. First place was Athena Haverstadt. Uh, 
runner-up was Atlanta Clutter. Mrs. Torrance, first place was Kirsten. Mrs. Dolek's out there. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm pointing to her, she's out there. <laughs> runner-up was Matthew Howe. Mrs. Chafee's class, first place was C.J. Faulkner. And runner-up was Haley Miller. Uh, grade four, Mrs. Sadler, first was Emma Cartwright. Runner-up was Lila Oliver. Mrs. Springer, first was Kayla Gaminski. Runner-up was Heather Ackerman and Mrs. Brock. First place was Brandon Eastick. And runner-up was Carter Bondi. Um, and and um, I want to say thank you to Kevin for doing a story in the paper on that. That was very nice. Okay. Uh, 109 students and guests attended our fall homecoming. Uh, Envirothon, NOSB, Academic Challenge, and Spanish Club have joined forces this year for this year's winter extravaganza. Um, it will be hosted in the cafetorium on Friday, November 6th from 5.30 to 8.30. Michael Imboden and our girls cross country team advanced to district competition this weekend at Malone University. Boys soccer team takes on South Range at South Range Saturday at 3. Uh, they enjoyed their first ever winning season this year. Spe uh, Key Club mem special thanks to the Key Club members for their hard work landscaping the entrance of the football stadium. And grades 7 through 12 travel to South Range for a motivational assembly. Uh, put on by Dave Rover. He travels globally to speak to groups, and his focus is the high school experience. That's it. Thank you, Richard. And on the same token, uh, thank you to South Range. They uh, supplied buses for that trip, and yeah. uh, they also donated their field for our home soccer game. So that's uh, the sweep that we want. So. Oh, yeah. Excellent. Well, we will move into the superintendent's report. Okay, thank you, Mr. Roy. That first quarter of school concludes tomorrow. So, hard to believe as you go into the second quarter. Uh, I always say, uh, remember the second quarter starts in October, ends in January. So it's a long stretch, and it's hard to believe we're that close to um, uh, that deep into the school year. The staff is participating in professional development day tomorrow. The focus will be on school safety. I want to thank uh, Mr. Ridgway and Mr. Radinsky. And Mr. Cropsaddle met for four hours with Dana Steele from the Ohio Department of Education and Homeland Security uh, to help uh, fine-tune the plan. Um, and then the other part of the day will be software system to create, store, and share assessments and track student progress to increase student achievement called Illuminate DNA. So all the staff will be trained in that. Uh, Channel 33 was here earlier this uh, month. Uh, recording our classes to say the Pledge of Allegiance. Uh, that can be seen from November 11th to November 17th. And thank you, Mrs. Votaw, putting those dates on the website. Uh, you can just uh, access our website and see what days our classes are on. Can I make a quick comment on sure that? Sure, you can. I actually do um, my production at that studio, and I had two of the production people from Channel 33 come up, and they said that they extend at the beginning of the season. 80 different school districts and they said that Ed Ridgeway went beyond the call of duty not only to reach out to them but to make it convenient for the camera crews to come in and they said that the Letonia students were the most well behaved and it was the smoothest production of all the Pledge of Allegiance so I wanted to thank not only the students for being so well behaved and representing the district in a well mannered situation but Ed Ridgeway from just being perfect with that. Thanks to all of those guys. Yes. No, thank you. Uh, the latest foundation uh, formula funding capacity uh, reflects the capacity aid uh, that Representative Ginner assisted with in the last biennium. Um, again, I'd like to thank President Ginner uh, as we saw that, 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 that come across, and he increased the total funds in the county from 3.4 to 10.9 million dollars for all county schools. The only reason I bring that up, because we've, we've talked about that enough, that we are, several schools are working with Representative Ginter for some additional ideas to increase opportunities for the students in Columbiana County. Um, uh, so I'll keep you updated on that, but we continue to try to increase opportunities for our students um, and, and be efficient. So that's all I have. That's all you have? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we will leave that and we will go. New business. New business, and we're going to start off with personnel. 
Uh, personnel A, uh, I'm going to approve the actual hours of work for bus drivers for the 15th, 16th school year. That's calculated on the week of October 9th uh, for, for Jerry, uh, Amy, Stephanie, Jane, and Don. So, do I have a motion? Motion. Second. Do we want discussion? Jennifer Roll? Mr. Duca? Yes. Mr. Hendricks? Yes. Mr. Henderson? Yes. Ms. Mathani? Yes. Mr. Rulli? Yes. Okay, uh, two, approve the following classroom volunteers uh, that are listed. Uh, 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 Beth Supel, David Schneider, Judy Kiani, Kelly Rulli, Bill Jackson, Evelyn Hall, Marge Valentine, Ruth Metzger, Jeff Zek, Dolores McCole, uh, uh, Krista Stark, Laura Portward, Kathy McCoy, Marcy Hendricks, and Janice Waker. Motion. Second. Discussion? Kathy McCoy is... Isn't she a Title Title One? She's Title One. So isn't she working every day? Yeah, she is. So I, so, I mean, I, 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 the, I don't know why they. they okay. Are, okay. That's a, we get the fingerprints for them all and then put them all on. Uh, okay. Of course, we're looking for several fingerprints right now, but we know we have them. <laughs> okay. So that's a mistake. Is that yeah, right? that's okay. a mistake because that's. Uh, Should we question. strike that? Uh, no, you can uh, approve her as an A. Okay. Right. I'll know. Further discussion? Further discussion. Okay. Uh -huh. Roll call. Roll call. Mr. Duco? Yes. Mr. Hendricks? Yes. Mr. Henderson? Yes. Ms. Manzani? Yes. Mr. Rowley? Abstain? <coughs> uh, three and four. Uh, Grant Rick Relics well, Request for Simon Advancement effective at the start of the year and approve Rick Davis as a Title one aid for the 2015-16 school year. Do I have a motion? Motion. Do we have a second? Second. Discussion. How many how many aids is that? Title one aids do we have now? Is that three? Three Chelsea. Mike, Rick. No, no, I'm sorry. No, no, wait, uh, Gail. Gail and Rick. You're on two. Oh, no, Marilyn and Lori. And Marilyn and Lori. Yeah, four. Mike and, Mike and Chelsea. They're, they're in a different classification. Two, there's, there's a classification. Okay, so they were, we yeah. talked about their sovereigns before, so this yeah. is a different. That would be the, uh, the okay. eight or yeah, 12, yeah. Okay. And the certified employees are 15. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. And three or four together, correct? Correct. Further discussion? All good. Jennifer Roll. Mr. Duco. Yes. Mr. Henderson. Yes. Ms. Manzetti. Yes. Mr. Hendricks. Yes. Mr. Roll. Yes. Supplemental contracts uh, and substitutes we do together. Uh, B and C approve the following coaches for the 15-16 school year: Corey Kramer for basketball junior high, Joe Burley for varsity assistant track, Diana Richardson. Basketball junior high cheerleading. Mike Mancusa, varsity basketball assistant. Uh, online instructor Sandy Mitchell and Randy Rodick. Substitutes uh, um, approve that athletic workers affected for the school year a, a um, salary change to $25 per game for high school sports and $20 for a game for junior high sports. And then approve John Ray Darwitz as a uh, substitute teacher for the 2015 16 school year. Motion. Second. Discussion. Uh, the um, uh, first of all, I'd like to welcome Joe back. I'm glad that he's doing track, and uh, the um, and all of our coaches. I appreciate all they do. The uh, athletic workers. We did a, a comparison, and we got everything from athletic workers that I think it was a discussion topic as early as last, maybe as early as last year or the beginning of this year. They are from volunteer and free passes for the family to thirty-five dollars uh, per game with area schools. So we came up with this figure by comparing uh, like, uh, like size schools. And um, I've been here seven years. I don't, I've never seen an increase. Uh, we were at 50, we were the lowest that, that I came across of anybody, uh, any school that I could, that I, that I saw. And I don't know if, uh, you know, I don't know when the last time that these, and they're hard, they're hard to get, that they really have a passion for the community, they're there. Um, Bob Cross is there doing the powder puff game tonight uh, for no pay. Uh, so uh, they're, they're, they're community members that are really dedicated, have a passion for the school and the students. So that's what I say. That. 
Moving to roll. Mr. Duco? Yes. Mr. Rowley? Yes. Mr. Henderson? Yes. Mr. Manfani? Yes. Mr. Henderson? I'm in there. Mr. Hendricks? Yes. Sorry. I thought John, I thought John got a full time job. He did. Uh, then uh, he's not working there anymore. So he's substituting the area and here in Crestview at the time. There's two of these items for the two. Okay. E use of facilities. Um, Melanie Sells will CPR class tonight. Uh, I say coach's name. Coach Valle. 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 Uh, lasagna dinner on October 26th. The nutrition group to meet again here November 5th and 6th. Uh, last to hold their basketball tournaments during the, those weekends in January um, and, um, and February too. Will, will Lassa be running the uh, concession at those? Yes. Approve Lori Marston to hold Pilates class every Tuesday. And Thursday. Thursday too? Yeah, Thank Tuesday you. Tuesday and Thursday. Thank you. Motion. Discussion. Discussion? Are we done? About the Pilates class, is there any exchange of money? Go ahead, Lori. Um, it's actually as a donation basis. Um, anything, any monies collected would go toward an in house. Program, program meaning could be yearbook staff could be destination imagination no profit is made um, other times if we don't do it in-house we'll do something like I, we've done Red Cross last year we did the kidney foundation I know the cheerleaders were uh, collecting for mr. Hupp who was going through some issues with um, kidney disease so those sorts of things there's no profit being made yeah, and, and it's really nice that you do that. Don't don't get me wrong. I just I just don't like when we use the facilities and collect money because to me the it, it, it could only hurt you if somebody questioned it. You know, I know it's a small amount of money, but I, I just I just would feel better if we didn't charge. And if you wanted to, if if we didn't approve it with the charge, I I I just don't. I don't like that. Like, table that. And I appreciate what she's yeah. doing, and I know it's for a good cause and all that. But I'm yeah. just, I just think that puts puts that person. It could put them in a bad position. Right. So, can we add approval without a charge charge there to get you guys? Oh, you we could vote on it. I mean, it would, table us, it would probably. I mean, you can. We have a motion. Let's just yeah. vote on it. I was okay. just making a comment. Does yeah. anyone have any more comments? Any more comments, Tony? I have a question. Yes. Is it? Is it charging different than a donation? Well, that's why I said you're you're kind of collecting money. Yeah, money's changing hands. Money's changing hands. Uh, it, 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 it's like I mean, I understand what you're saying. I do. Yeah, I, I, I just trying to say, yeah, if you understand. collect two hundred dollars and somebody says, "What you doing with that money? Where is it going?" Now right. it's up to Jen. To, you know, you're using the school and you're using Letonia's name and you're an employee. It just, it, to me, it could just, it isn't worth that effort. There, you could go to Walmart and you could buy yourself a receipt book and you could give them a receipt with a carbon copy and submit the copy that you don't, you give whoever gets a donation, give them the, co the carbon copy and give the other copy to Jennifer with the money and then it could be checks and balance system so everything's all proper. At least you have something to it's just a thought to protect yourself. Sure. Yeah. Right. Just yeah. Yes. Somebody may say I don't have a problem with that. Lori, you right. ha you have you don't have a set donation, correct? No. It's you don't even have to donate at all. If you just if you want to. Right. It's, it's optional. Right. And can anyone do this? <laughs> well it is yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of the board. Little weak Tony. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you know, no students, um, no outside uh, members of the community, nothing like that. It's for Letonia staff only. Um, yes, actually, that's thank you, Mr. Shar. It also helps if you're under the school insurance, which I'm not familiar with because I'm not under the insurance, but you also gain vitality points if you're a school employee and under the insurance. For our wellness program. For our wellness program. I like that. That's one thing I'm trying to promote. Anyone else want to comment on this? We'll move into the vote, Jennifer. Mr. Duco? Yes. Mr. Hendrick? Yes. Mr. Henderson? Yes. Ms. Manzani? Yes. Mr. Raleigh? Yes.
the uh, F and G of business operation approve the attached MOU, approve the first reading of the attached board policies. The class of 2019 has a dick response to the clubber activity and $450 for the uh, family and children first council in County. Question. Second. Okay, uh, the member of understanding is uh, uh, we're doing teacher evaluations uh, this year. Uh, they have, we have chosen to do a, um, a um, shared attributes, and to do that, we need to have a member of standing with the union. Um, we discussed that, that. We try to do everything with the union, and a nice discussion, and uh, everybody on both sides agree that we would do this. Also, that leads into the policy. Uh, if you look through your policies, and we'll have the second and final reading next month, but uh, there is a thing in there that's changing give us some leeway. The 15% of uh, may be used for the teacher evaluation part or the student growth part. So for this year, 65% would be the teacher evaluation and 35% would be the student growth. And that's in the policy. Also interesting, Mr. Duco brought up, there's a policy I see, we all do the same policies, we all use the OLA. Crestview in the paper, they're talking about their policy. And there is a policy in there that kind of tightens the, the that uh, that the school can anybody that uses the facilities uh, we can ask for their books we can uh, and, and that, that policy is in there and something that we've actually talked about maybe doing to get a baseline of all the facilities all the uh, variations that use our facilities and maybe do it once because I don't know if we've ever done it and maybe it'd be a good thing to do as you know a baseline data mr. Henderson was on the committee with us uh, anything else in there of uh, in the policies that uh, there was um, a lot of FMLA. FMLA <laughs> that seems to be dictated by yeah. federal, so not a lot of leeway there. Everything in triplicate or quadruple copy. Yes. It has to affect all different <coughs> groups it applies to. Yeah, classified, administrative, certified, and, and so we have to have one for every call. Yeah. Is that no, nothing outstanding or noteworthy? That's all I have in discussion. Excellent. Um, thank everyone for coming. We're going to move into the <laughs> <a little laughs> discussion. Oh, we stopped the vote. Wait, I, I, we have to do roll call. We're doing, or yeah, we I, I just <laughs> clarified mine. So any of us have Yeah, I have a comment on the uh, use of premises in the uh, facilities. The, one of the things it says, Rob, is that the superintendent shall develop, develop administrative guidelines. I know you get sick of hearing me say that. but. This is another good one where we're going to pass the policy. Maybe we need to say that within 30 or 60 days we should we should have the guidelines that go along. Which, which one are you talking about? The you school premises. School. Yeah. And and it goes back to I'm not going to say who the organization was, but a couple of years ago, right. an organization outside of Letonia used our gym, sold the concessions. They got the benefit from using right. our facilities, and there wasn't really one Letonia kid involved and maybe our guidelines need to bring something like that yeah. up you know like there has to be a number of Letonia kids participating or anybody really the way our policies can use our facility and it's interesting you say that because we do have guidelines that come with these through the old and then we tweak them as we get them right so and, and there is a guideline there and, and maybe we could tweak them a little ourselves too. right exactly yeah and that's what Michael and I were talking about with the policy meeting since the policies are pretty much set have policies and guidelines so as we go to policy we right. get the corresponding guidelines and I did find the old administrative guidelines that okay. I was telling you about it the books about that thing yeah. yeah we have one like that too but I don't want to see it though I want to see if it's okay. in the old or yeah and I, I didn't get a chance to look and see if there was an old guideline on this but I thought we addressed yeah. this two years ago with the, the concessions yeah. and who was taking care we, of yeah we, we, we did that on the on, on the form we did change it where that that somewhere didn't we change it on the form that, that, two that, years ago we yeah. did, when that happened we changed it on the form too Okay. That, that, that they actually, so the form, they sign, when they fill out the form, they it's, on well, and, and and it's, it's an excellent point. I mean, yeah, I hate right. to see us still doing this when I thought it was right. taking care of two years ago. No, I didn't know that. Yes, yeah, it is. As you say that too, it's on the form as well. well and, and I think that that would be the whole gravy about it. You know, if you're going to use a facility, at least like the band boosters or lasso or somebody, right. but some, something they talk yeah, absolutely. Right. What I did, I think I had the same guideline, and I'll show you. Okay, it on. all right. But I, then I took blue books of the ones that are most used off, and I put those out. I guess the point is, after we pass the policy, we should then make sure that we follow up with the guidelines. Right. Do you think we could perhaps uh, dig them out and pass them around in emails? You know, make sure we, we're all 
Perfect. Well, we have the book. Like I said, it's on, they're, they're online. Okay. The guidelines are online. I'll have to give you the password because it's password protected. <coughs> so, okay. But I'll make sure you get it. <laughs> Any okay. further discussion? Jennifer? Mr. Duco? Yes. Mr. Foley? Yes. Mr. Henderson? Yes. Ms. Mazzetti? Yes. Mr. Hendricks? Yes. Now your discussion. Okay. Um, yeah, miscellaneous. miscellaneous. Approved class 2019 as a district sponsored club or activity. Those two together. No, he did F and G together. Oh, I discussed that. F and G were grouped together. We yeah. just didn't discuss G. Yeah, I'm sorry. And that was unique. That was that was five yeses, right? Yeah. Okay. I think we tied up all those loose ends. Uh, we're going to end with the discussion. I will start with Larry. I have one thing. Thank you very much for the athletic recap. And I just want to make sure, like, the volunteers, you, you include all that because you go by the fund and the accounts and you get all that. So if, the, if, if another question was asked, how much money do we spend on athletics, would you have a way of gathering up what's coming out of PI? Like the power striper and maybe the improvements we made to the yeah. You you can there's, also get that. There's you, not a whole lot that comes out of PI, but, but I can do that. Okay. Mm -hmm. I just, okay. Thank you. Yep. That's all. Mr. Hendricks? Nothing. Michael? Nothing. Tony. I'd like to compliment Richard on his uh, student report achievement report. I think he's does a marvelous job. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Very nice. <clears throat> Jennifer, you want to say it? Okay. Rob? I'm good. Well, I do have something to say, and it's extremely, extremely important, and we need to discuss it for a moment. Um, I do personally think the Italian School District is the greatest school district in the state of Ohio. I think it's hands down. I think everything that we've done has been amazing. We have an amazing campus that just celebrated our 10th anniversary, or 11th. No, this would be 2002, so this would be 13. 13. Okay, 13. so we have a 13-year-old campus, and three or four years into the construction of this campus, we fell into the abyss, the financial black hole that was absolutely brutal, that almost brought this district to its knees and was almost dismembered. And all you have to do is look at the records. It's proof. It's fact. It's black and white. We lost seven levies in a row. We never did pass a levy. A levy was never passed. I was on the levy committee with Dan. We went door to door. I took off election days to drive people to the polls. The constituents spoke extremely strongly and let me know that they were never going to pass a new levy. That is why I ran for school board. That is why I'm in my seventh year of the school board, and I feel honored, humbled, and privileged to be the president of the school board. But now I have to speak because this board, this superintendent, more than anything else, these teachers have done everything in their power and their existence to make this a strong district. We have moved up the rankings in student achievement, in school rankings, we've gone up 100 districts to advance towards being a South Ranger or a Poland or a Canfield. And we've done this with demographics, demographics that are miserable. And we all know that the property values have gone up a little bit, which is a great thing. It's your number one investment, your property value. The church, the village, the district is the core of this community. We have a renewal coming up. This is not a new tax. There will not be one new dollar tax to anybody in this community. This is a renewal. This renewal is crucial for our existence. I think this district has done everything in its power to be good stewards, and that's the key word, stewards of the money, along with the teachers union that has worked extraordinarily closely with us and sacrificed over two contracts. We've done everything in our power to make this district work. Rob has gone way off the charts not, all you have to do is call Ursula, his wife, on the phone and ask her about what a 9 to 5 is. You could ask any of the teachers what a 9 to 5 is. It doesn't exist in this district. I beg the people of Letonia to pass this renewal. 
with all the humility that has God given me, we need this renewal pass with everything that is. This is not a new tax. This will be no new taxes at all. So if you love Letonia, you know, I wasn't born here, but I've been here for 20 years. My children are born and bred in Letonia, and I am a bear to my core. I beg this community to pass this renewal. That's all I have. Thank you. Thank you, Michael. Well said. Well said. We're moving to... Motion to adjourn? Mm -hmm. uh, to executive session. session. We're going to executive session? Okay. Yeah. We, let's Just see. read what you got there. We're going to adjourn to executive session to consider the appropriate employment, discipline, and compensation of public employee or officials of the purpose of considering matters required to be kept confidential by federal law and regulations of the state statutes. With no, no, with no action. No action taken. No motion. 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 Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Right. Well, I need to call roll call. Mr. Hendricks? Yes. Mr. Henderson? Yes. Ms. Manzetti? Yes. Mr. Duco? Yes. Mr. Roy? Yes. Thank you. Board.